In this lesson, we're going to look at two important properties that addition has. The first is called the commutative property of addition. And what it says is that a plus b is equal to b plus a. Okay, so what is that really saying um, practically? It's just saying that it doesn't matter what order you add in. So in the previous addition examples that I've shown, I believe what I've said is I find it easier to put the number with the largest number of digits on top. So 5 plus 7 is 12, and then 1 plus 1 is 2, so I get 22. But what the commutative property of addition says is that that's a completely optional thing. Okay, You could say instead of 15 plus 7, you could say that's the same as 7 plus 15, just like that. And of course, uh, 7 plus 15, you might write the 7 on top and the 15 on bottom. 7 plus 5 is still 12, and 1 plus 1 is still Two. So we get 22 in either order that we add these numbers in. Okay. The next property is the associative property of addition. And this one's um, a little less straightforward, um, but in some ways for what we're doing um, with adding numbers, it's actually the, a little bit more practical to us at this point than the commutative property is. So, first of all, you see these parentheses surrounding A plus B here, and now they're surrounding B plus C over there. And you may not have really encountered parentheses much, if at all, at this point. So, one way to think of parentheses is they are instructions to do this first. So, when the parentheses are around A and B, they're saying add A and B first. And then when they're around B and C, they're saying add B and C first, and then after you're done with that, add A. And what the associative property is saying is that it really doesn't matter where the parentheses go when you're adding numbers. You can add any pair of numbers first that you want and add the others later. So in this example, it says rewrite 29 plus 13 plus 7 using the associative property of addition. So right now, this is what we have. And what the associative property says is that instead of adding 29 and 13 together first and then adding 7, I could add 13 and 7 first and then add that sum to 29. Okay. And here's where you can see the practicality of this property. 29 plus 13 would not be one that we want to do in our head. We would want to set up the vertical addition for that and then add 7 afterward. But take a look at this. 13 plus 7. A lot of us probably can do that in our head. Because we recognize that if you have 13 and then you add 7 more, you're just going to get a, the nice round number of 20. So we understand that's 20, and then of course we have the 29 from above. And then 29 plus 20, you might even be able to do that in your head too, 49. So sometimes using the associative property makes calculation easier.